So he pretty much spawns, he fades here. You can walk around him, activate your power, spawn him, and he's blocked. He is a brawler. That's his weapon of choice. He's a brawler, hands on, right? So while he's swinging on you, when he, you're blocking, he gets juggled. He knocks down and falls. So that helps for you, that's helpful for the group. Rotate your shield again. You see what all he's going to do for the first phase. He's going to brawl you, get juggled, and then you're going to switch to another move where he makes a comment. This DC universe is a little bit, um, little bit have his little glitches where he's supposed to do the call out where he says, um, uh, now you choke or breathe in deep, something in that phase where he actually does an AOE gas. Uh, a little similar to Etch Against Flame, but totally different. So he'll do a gas versus the flame where it might be about this big around. So if you caught it in the AOE of the gas, it takes a large amount of damage, even if you have a shield on. That's for you healers out there, and that's for the tanks. So be very cautious of that, all right? It will eat through your shields. So when he, makes this, when he says the phrase, breathe in deep, then ch breathe in deep, then choke, just roll back or walk back from it out the area, and you can still heal, DPS, scroll, what have you, right? That's the first one. So why you moved out of it and for the tank, if it's still on you, still in this first phase, block, juggle him, then he will do something else. He will spawn out a call or release. Now usually, again, it depends on how good the group is. Usually healers or trolls, because usually a lot of groups don't run with um, healers. But usually a healer or troll, the ones that's not burning, will actually go get a cog. So you will see a cursed marker somewhere here, somewhere over here. They normally go get it, but usually a tank, if it's so close to the tank, let's say for example here, you activate the cog and elite. Nobody really pays attention to it in the regular, but elite, they pretty much go for it. And then they continue as such. One of the next moves the boss would do is a swamp thing. He will spawn out uh, some plants. He would turn to the side, reach his arm out, target some random area, two will spawn out. If you have a purple arrow on you, that plant is designated target to you, like you're instantly um, taunted. It, it's not going nowhere. It's gonna keep always going back to you. So for example, if it's not on you, the tank, and it goes on to a fellow player, over here and it's targeted, you can pull it once, it'll come to you for a hot second and it'll go gradually back to the other player so make sure you keep an eye and lock on that one along with the, the random secondary plant that's out there the random secondary plant will get taunted and still you the purple one will not so you have to taunt it making sure your shield is rotated from time to time and you are good to go now this is a rinse and repeat for each phase now he will turn into, he will spawn in the middle. If you have him taunt somewhere else, he'll teleport and spawn in the middle. Turn into like a, I guess like an acorn or a shell or something while he's healing or forming, whatever have you. Multiple ads will spawn out. One will be over here, one will be on the side. So tanks have to be on the lookout for that. Target it, pull it in up towards you. While the DPS, chosen healer, do their job. Once the ads are burned out, and then he will spawn and he will get bigger than he got before. Once he does that, the first phase of what you did before was blocking the thing. He's going to get juggled. He will not get juggled off that first phase. What happens is, the larger he gets, the stronger he gets. Meaning he will apply more damage to you. And that's it. Alright? Everything else will be a rest repeat. Meaning the, um, the gas that would be rotated around you, whoever he um, picks, it would be like three. Uh, the ads that he spawn out randomly over the side, when if you're targeted with the purple um, arrow, the cogs that would be on the sides and random corners, one of them, and that's it. And then he will spawn out again where he's very huge, pretty much the size of this statue. And he will spawn again, teleport back in the middle, and rinse and repeat. So be very careful. So if you don't have a healer, you have to keep up with your rotation, whatever your, whatever your ability is as a tank. You have to be very cautious of that. Now, here's a moment in the, in 
one of the videos I have tanked, so I will do that after this, where Batman is pretty much is a little helpful tip. But a little tank, I'm not saying the squishy tanks out there, but just a little bit helpful to give you some breathing room. You can spawn out your sidekicks to help you because what happens is Swamp Thing does a block, pause, and then he lunges. Once he does that, okay, that's one of his hard hitting moves. If Batman or the ads, your um, supplies, or excuse me, your sidekicks or your backups is blocking him, he will not be able to do it. He'll just do this. He can't jump over it, he just stay there. But if there's like a little invisible wall here, that's why I've seen two tanks done before. I've seen a, um, a tank that's skimming where he will float up in the air and have Batman like kind of hugged up to the wall and Swamp Thing will be on the other side and Swamp Thing is still trying to get through him. You won't. So he's not applying any damage on the tank. So that's a little trick out there for the tanks out there. Same thing if you're Acrobat, you can go ahead and climb up on the wall. Let uh, Swamp Thing try to reach you. Batman will follow him as close as Batman can get. And then you can fall, look down, fall down on the opposite side of Batman. And then just turn him. And then take it from there. The last power is Amazonian Deflection. The literally most hardest shield out there. But you can't get broke out of it. So it's a timing on this. So remember earlier when I said he blocks first, he's actually locked onto you, then he'll lunge. Once he's blocking, time it. So once he lunge, pop Amazonian Deflection, and he will just keep well on you. You will not take any damage. Incantation ready. Green bird. Green. 
Escape nature. 